Well, we're all set. And here's the old treasure map, Baba. <laughs> but I buried it so many years ago, I don't even know if it'll still be there. Don't worry, Cornelius. This time we're going to find your treasure. Well, even if you don't, Arthur, I'm certain you three will have just as much fun looking for it now as when you were boys. This is going to be great! Just like old times! What's going on? They're going after buried treasure. Treasure? For real? Yep, they've got a map and everything. They've been looking for it ever since they were our age. Oh, don't say. Yep, it's been sitting somewhere around Rocky Ridge all these years, just waiting to be found. Gotta go. See ya. Now, don't worry, Babo. I'll handle everything while you're gone. Just have fun. Thank you, Celeste. This is going to be great! <laughs> it takes me back to when they were just boys. Treasure? For real? They've got a treasure map and everything. How come I never heard about this before? Basil! You bellowed, boss? Get the camping gear together. We're going treasure hunting. Mucky Swamp dead ahead. This is great. The three of us together, roughing it in the wilderness. <laughs> Just like the old days. Yep. You know what I miss most about being a kid? What? The practical jokes I used to play. Exactly what I miss the least. What do you mean? Everyone loved my jokes. Not everyone. <gasps> oh. The time we thought there was a monster in the woods. Help! It's not me! Zephyr! <laughs> That's not funny! You were always playing tricks, Zephyr, even when you were supposed to be guarding the peanut patch. Now that would liven things up a bit. It was funny. And you want another laugh? You guys just found Mucky Swamp. Yuck! I can't believe it. <laughs> you walked right into it. <laughs> just like the old days. <laughs> oh, this is great! Oops. <laughs> What's so funny? Yep, just like, like the old days. days. <laughs> What's next, Babar? <laughs> On to Rocky Ridge. You coming, Zephyr? Yeah, I'm coming. And before you two forget, as I remember it, I wasn't the only one who pulled pranks in the old days. And just my luck. Not a rhino in sight. <laughs> ah! The rhinos are attacking! The rhinos are really here! Message, Zephyr. Huh? It's me. You animal! You ate my friend! <laughs> hey, what gives? Is this some kind of gag or what? We're even, Zephyr. A prank for a prankster. I'm cured. <laughs> but your prank sort of backfired when the real rhinos showed up and destroyed the whole Celeste filled peanut crop in the process. The royal peanut patch is ruined! Boy, I thought Pompadour was gonna flip his wig. 
No more peanut butter, no more! Please, don't remind me. <laughs> I guess we were all little troublemakers back then. Gee, I don't remember Rocky Ridge being so steep. Maybe there's an easier way to the treasure. Well, we used to climb it in the old days. This is going to be great! Uh, would you mind giving me a boost? <laughs> yes, sir, Basil. Just like old times. Me against Babar, Tooth and Claw, Horn and Trunk, no rule books. Just like it used to be, I should have brought my golf clubs along. I'm sure I could have found uh, room for them somewhere, Uranus. <laughs> like the time Babar went up way up peak looking for that weeping wonder bird feather. I have to admit it would tickle anyone's fancy. Huh? For me, you shouldn't have. For taxes! <laughs> oh, great! It's a long way down, way up peak, Zephyr. Almost anything can happen. That sure is one fetching feather, Your Highness. Perhaps might I pass my peepers upon it again, sir? Well, okay, but just this once, we wouldn't want to... Oh! Lose it! Hey! Give that back! We stole it fair and square! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> uh, stop! If you were a golfer, Babar, you'd know to watch out for sand traps. <laughs> I can still remember the look on Babar's face. Oh, oh, just like the old days. Phooey! Are we there yet? Almost! Told you this would be easy. Now I remember why we never used to let you lead when we climbed this ridge. Because I was too fast for you? No, because you always got us stuck. Huh? Great, Zephyr. Now how do we get out of this? Easy, just like we used to. Huh. Why me? Zephyr and I were always good at getting us all into trouble. And you were always good at getting us out of it. Well then, gentlemen, if you care to follow me. Come on, Arthur. Next stop, men's suits, household appliances, and mountaintops going up. Ah! We're heading for the bargain basement. Too much weight. Way to go, Babar! That was great! Just like the time we were up on Way Up Peak. When you were trying to get the Wonderbird feather? Yeah! Retaxis snatched our feather and left Babar and I sinking in quicksand. Help! that I'd be thanking you, Retaxis. But thanks, you saved our lives. I always knew you were an old softy. Stop! Stop! Now, here, here, take it, it's yours. Just promise me you'll never tell a soul about this. But, Retaxis... You owe me! Promise! Well, if that's the way you want it. Yes, 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 yes! And so Retaxis actually saved our lives. He must have been sick or something. Hey! Look at this! Remember this? Yeah! You put that there, Arthur. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. It's one of those traps you set in case someone else tried to find our treasure. 
<laughs> All those silly traps. <laughs> None of them ever worked. Whoa! You were saying, Zephyr? Let me be the first to congratulate you, Arthur. Thanks to your ingenuity, we're stuck up here until somebody finds us. Just, Just like, like the, the old days. days. Are you sure they came this way, Basil? Without a shadow of a doubt, Your Highness. Then how do you suppose they got themselves out of this predicament? How do we always manage to get ourselves into these predicaments? It could be days before anyone finds us. Relax, Arthur. Don't be such a scaredy cat. I'm not a scaredy cat, Zephyr. I'll have you know that my travels have gotten me into some mighty frightening scrapes. Oh, yeah? Well, I've been in some pretty tough spots myself. Like what? Like the time Babar and I were at sea, looking for new lands to explore. And that was just the beginning. We landed on Skull Island, the home of... Conga! Conga the Death? Huh? Conga the Terrible! I simply must apologize for my behavior. Everyone assumes that I'm some kind of savage beast, all because of my size. So it turned out that Conga wasn't terrible after all. Shh! What was that? It sounds big. And mean. And hungry. It's, it's a... a... Big, mean, hungry chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute there, I half expected it to be Retaxis. Nah, Retaxis is too old for this rough stuff anymore. I'll bet at this very moment he's dropping in for a visit. <laughs> Retaxis. Oh, nice of you to drop in. What are you doing here? Well, uh, uh, if we were, uh, 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 Basil? Uh, out for a, a walk. Oh, yeah, like he said, just out for a leisurely stroll. <laughs> small world, isn't it? Too small, if you ask me. Oh, yeah? Then how'd you like a trip to the moon, short stuff? You already tried that. Hey, I remember that. I gave you an opportunity to become famous for the greater glory of Rhinoland. Well, that's not the way I remember it. As I recall... Let's get the show on the moon! Oh, well, you always wanted to see the world, Zephyr. This way you get to see it all at once. Any last requests? Trade places with me? Ah, in your dreams! <laughs> Start the count up! Start the count up! One, two, three, four, five! Look out below! Huh? <gasps> what in the world are you? We are all powerful moon men. We have come to stop your attack on our home. The moon? Wait a minute. How do we know you're really men from the moon? Yeah, you could be from any of those planets up there. Instead of disintegrating you, we will make you a trade. A trade? Yes, you may have our moon in exchange for your pilots. You gotta be kidding. Moon men, never kid. <laughs> Deal. That Babar is one sly fella. <laughs> Babar and Arthur sure fooled you, Retaxis. You mean you... you tricked me? The moon isn't mine! No need to overreact, Retaxis. That was a long time ago. 
Yeah, well, you'll be overreacting when I beat you to that treasure. You, you know, know about the treasure? treasure? Yes, and it's going to be mine. Not without the map. You're right. Thank you. Huh? Mine, 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 mine! <laughs> Quick, after them! Just like old times. The treasure's straight ahead. You decoy them to the right. Decoying away, Uranus! Oh no, which way? Right? Left! All three. Right, let's go! <laughs> I'm going to do it! After all this time, I'm going to beat Babar! Retaxus! Huh? Retaxus! <laughs> Years. Uh, another one of Arthur's traps. You're not going to stop me. Not this time. Don't run. You're going to get us. Whoa! The map! <laughs> Try not to move. The rope's old. It's only a matter of time before it gives. And then... <gasps> then we drop like a sack of succotash. <gasps> uh, who would have thought that it would all end like this? Well, if you really think about it, if it wasn't for each other, it would have ended for us a long time ago. Huh? Have you forgotten the hunter? The fire's out of control! Now we can't even help ourselves. Is that so? Well, what happened to your idea about working together for a better jungle? What about it? Okay, are we all in this together? <laughs> It on the run. It's heading back towards the hunter's camp. We have to keep on it until it's out. I hear you loud and clear. was the last we ever saw of the hunter. If it hadn't been for you helping out, that would have been the end of it for all of us. Yeah, and if it hadn't been for you, well, if I always had to lose to someone, I'm glad it was you. Thanks, Retaxis. You were a worthy opponent. Always kept me on my toes. <laughs> ah! Treasure! Are you two okay? I've never been better! Take the slide! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> that Cornelius! Only he'd find a way to cap the treasure hunt with a ride like that. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's open our treasure! I don't believe it! Treasure! Marbles! An old telescope! Baseball gloves and bats! 
I still don't believe it. I risked my life for a chest full of old toys? Well, way back when I buried it for the boys, that was quite a treasure. I'm afraid you've all outgrown it. Not at all, Cornelius. They're not toys anymore. They're memories. Come on, Retaxis. Don't take it too hard. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm laughing. Thinking about Babar in that ridiculous Moon Man costume. <laughs> Moon Man never, never kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> and to think you were trying to send me to the moon. <laughs> you know, Cornelius, it's almost better that they waited until now to find your treasure. It means so much more. Yes, Celeste. Memories are treasures worth far more than gold. <laughs> <laughs>